doctor's office. My name is the doctor, and I'll be your host for the next however long we're broadcasting. This is Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm actually really excited to share with you what's going down today, right? So, my dad got me a birthday present, because it was my birthday on the 13th, a couple days ago now, I think. Um, he... It was just money. He was like, go get yourself something, you know? And I was like, okay. So I got myself the complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV. And it already comes with, like, the first 75 levels and uh, lightly limited gameplay. Like, on its own. But I have been playing it on... The first server I was playing, I made Agamus Fox Collar, and I took him up to like level 30 on Gladiator, and I leveled a few other classes too, and then I came to Siren server so I could play with my friend Roman, um, and I leveled this, I've already leveled up quite a few characters, I don't have to go through all of them, I kind of want to, but I don't know how to check them other than switching from one to another marauder 12 arcanist 23 alchemist 15 culinarian 3 fisher 17 archer 12 rogue 12 yeah but it's chill it's such a good game i'm really enjoying it and i wanted to have full access to everything including the ability to form parties and, and whatever other limits were imposed because I wasn't uh, a full-on member. But now I got it. And I was, I was afraid it was going to be like a, a monthly fee. It was not. For that, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite pleased. So I was going to pick up Pugilist because I've already got some of their um, hand things. Um... Greetings and welcome to the Pugilists Guild. We Pugilists are specialists in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Through rigorous training, we forge devastating weapons of our fists and feet, which we employ to great effect in battle. There is no better place in all the realm to train in our discipline than here. If you would walk the path of the Pugilist, I highly recommend you add your name to our role. What say you, friend? Yeah, a decision you'll not regret, but before we proceed to the paperwork, it is essential that you know something of our guild's storied past. Since time immemorial, man has used whatever has been at his disposal to settle disputes. In the beginning, that meant fighting with his fists. Such hand-to-hand -hand combat existed in various forms throughout Eorzea, each evolving independently of one another. The origins of pugilism as we know it, however, can be traced back to the staging of bare-handed bouts at the Colosseum. These contests attracted fighters from far and wide, bringing their myriad styles crashing together on the blood sands. Amidst this chaotic intermingling of styles, there rose a pugilist of singular strength and skill. This woman made it her life's mission to master every form she encountered, that she might refine her art. Among her many song-worthy exploits, we pugilists remembered her participation in a gladiator tournament most fondly. Back when bare-handed fighting was still seen as a pastime for peasants, she took on fully armed and armored gladiators and effortlessly bested the lot of them. Word of her feet spread across the realm like wildfire, of course, and Uldah swiftly transformed into a, a center of pugilism, with people flocking from all over to train under this master among masters. The woman's name was Cornelia, and it is to her that the Pugilists' Guild owes its existence. The art practiced here is based on her all-encompassing style, and this training hall is modeled upon the one which she once built. And there it is. A brief history of our guild. I've told this tale a thousand times, but gods, it never fails to fan the flames of my fighting spirit. Now then, before we can proceed with your enrollment, you must first obtain the guild master's approval. Let me know when you are ready to meet them. Okay. 
All right, we're getting right up to onto it. So, are you ready to present yourself for the Guildmaster's inspection? I sure am. Master Hammond is among the greatest pugilists of our time. For long years, the man ruled the blood sand as the Holy Fist, though he has since retired in favor of training aspiring fighters. You will find him overseeing his charges yonder. Go now and show to him the fighting spirit that burns within you. I shall. <laughs> Past time you got your arse back here. Well, what did the dancer have to say about my proposition? Eh, y you're not my errand boy. There's no dancer. There never was. I'm not. I'm not doing anything indecent. I swear to the gods. What? You're here to enroll? Oh, ho, ho, well. Why didn't you say so sooner? In my capacity as Guildmaster, I would be glad to give you a primer on the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Doubtless, you already know this, but we pugilists fight with our fists and feet. While these don't deal as much damage as a blade, it hardly matters when you can land several blows for each swing of the sword. What we lack in destructive force, we more than make up for in speed and cunning. Under my guidance, not only will you master striking techniques, you'll also learn to string them together to deliver an endless flurry of blows. Only through such fierce combinations can a pugilist realize his potential. Yeah! Alright, calm down there, buddy. <laughs> Crikey! I'm spent from all this talking. <laughs> you ought to speak more, son. It didn't give me a chance to catch my breath, but where was I? Alright, joining the guild. Before you do so, I must warn you that the path of the pugilist is long and arduous. Do you believe you've got what it takes to go the distance? Be honest with yourself now. Can you go the distance? Yes. Sure can, boss. Yes, you have fighting spirit. I can see it in your eyes. I see no reason to deny you a place in these halls. Welcome to the guild, son. To help you on your way, I'll add some names to your hunting log. Opponents that you might... <sighs> ...might hone your skills against. And so as to make a budding pugilist of you, here's your very own Parafora. They're a tad old and rusted, but that'll serve to make you look meaner, I reckon. Now, I have a mind to assign you your first lesson. Arm yourself with your weapons and let me know when you are ready to begin. Okay. I know what I must do. Alright. Let's sort. Equip. Don't look at me. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Hammond wishes to teach you your first lesson. I'm not doing the voice anymore. Looking every bit of pugilist, son. Now, the learning can commence! For your first lesson, I want you to test your fledgling skills against the vermin of Fanalan. Get out there and put down three marmots, three hornets, and three shrews. Return here when the deed is done. Now, this goes without saying, but I expect you to fight using the Hora I just gave you. It counts for naught if you skewer the beasties with a spear or fry them with a spell, say. Got it. Ugh, no magic. Only corsets.
Central Thanaland. I made the mistake again. Man, I hate that. That's the most frustrating one. When you gotta run all the way back through Ulda to get from one Thanaland to the other. Not my favorite. That's not my favorite thing. But that's okay, cause nobody actually asked me. <sighs> it's nice to know that there are no limits on this now. It's like 60 bucks, I think. I thought it would be more. It comes with a bunch of different expansion pack content, so I figure it's worth it. I've been playing hundreds of hours of this game. Oh, let's get down to business. Unlike other melee classes, pugilist weapon skills are used to cycle three unique battle forms, which dictate the flow of weapon skill combos. Many pugilist weapon skills will either change your form upon execution, or require you to be in a certain form to execute. There are also weapon skills which will grant damage bonuses when executed while in a certain form. The three types of forms are as follows, Raptor, Coral, and Opo Opo. By successfully changing your form from Opa Opo to Raptor to Coral, O R C Orc. Precisely in that order, you will be granted an increase to attack potency, as well as other additional effects based on the weapon skills executed. Opa Opa Raptor Coral. Swiftly following, swiftly flowing from one form to the next as the situation demands is the key to becoming proficient in the art of the monk. It's interesting, it's the art of the monk, because pugilist, but I guess that makes sense. Ooh, one shot. Satisfying. Good game design. Snapping trees are a little bit more hardy. It's a rhythm, completing quests with each of these jobs. Once you figure out the rhythm, it's really relaxing to just flow into it, follow it, see where it goes.
Ah, oh, you're back. And none the worse for exertion. Youthful vigor is a truly blessed thing. If you want to become strong, you mustn't neglect your training. Indeed, a pugilist is only as good as the number of strikes he's dealt. So get out there, Agamus, and let your fists fly. When the time is ripe, I'll teach you something new. It needs me to go to level 5, which I'm already there. There's no limit to the potential of youth. I look forward to seeing you come into your own. Ha 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 ha! Alright, the next Pugilist quest will be available upon reaching level 5. You've been training hard, Agamus. I, I can tell by the lightness of your steps and the strength in your fists. I reckon you're ready for your next lesson. But before we begin, some warming up is in order. For this, I've scattered some gill across old Da. I want you to run around the city and pick it all up. Now that's my money lying out there, so I want you to go about it like there's an Amalja war band on your heels. In other words, I want you to sprint. Of course, you can't go sprinting indefinitely. Your body needs to rest a while after each burst of speed. This may sound elementary, but I'm telling you this to demonstrate a point. As a pugilist, it's essential that you learn to pace yourself in a fight. Else you're liable to get worn out, and when that happens, the fight's as good as over, and you'd be sorry if you had bet on yourself. Gil hiding around here. That's one. Wax on, wax off. We're doing the really boring beginner quests. Getting them out of the way. One at a time. Alright, now where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. That's a fat cat. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a sparkly bit. Just sitting around somewhere. Oh, is it up the Oh, it's by the dancing ladies, okay. Excuse me. Love the soundtrack. Oh, we gotta go the other way now.
almost there. <coughs> Just gotta stay focused. Keep an eye on the clock. Tonight's the night. Got him. Look at us go. Alright. Getting stuff done. We're gonna do even more. Believe it or not. Here we go. Where are they at? Where are they at? Bingo. Yeah, we got it. We did the thing. Is this the Thaumaturges Guild? Yeah, it is. I did this one. I started up Thaumaturge on uh, the first server I was playing on. It's alright. It's interesting. I don't understand it. I didn't take it very far. I think I went to like level 12 or 13 with it. Personally, I prefer Arcanist. Um, really want to try Conjurer, but I'm not. I'm not brought myself around to it yet because I want to do more with my Gladiator and my Pugilist. That's my money lying out there, son. I'd thank you to hurry and pick it all up before some vulture swoops on it. There you go, buddy. 500 gil? Crikey, this is good for a week's worth of... Uh, <coughs> I mean, well done, Agamus. Now that you're all warmed up, we can see to your lesson. A trial, to be precise. Take yourself to Scorpion Crossing in Western Thandaland. There you'll find four large stones. The trial stones, they're called. I want you to deal each of these stones a solid bootshine combo. The impact will arouse the earth sprites that sleep within, which you must then defeat. If you find yourself hard pressed, there's no shame in running away. You're still learning the ropes after all. Once you've gotten your wind back, you can hurl yourself into the fray again. And remember this. Strikes bring down opponents, but it's your footwork that keeps you standing. Now, off you go, Igamus, and good luck. <sighs> Alright. Where does it want us to go? Where does it want us to go? Towards, it's between Ilda and Horizon. If I take... Where am I standing? Is there a, an Aetherite crystal close by? Had a text message to tend to there.
There we go. Okay. Well, it's now time to get busy. <laughs> Square Enix nailed this game. They really did. All right, let's knock these cactars off the list. Ooh, can you imagine punching a cactus? That does not seem... I mean, at least I got these knuckle things. I'm hitting it with these. If, if, I'm, if they're magical, and if I'm super skilled, I don't necessarily ever actually touch it. Except with armor. Still, though. One more ought to do it. Yeah. No. It gave me the level, that's nice, but it didn't give me the entry. Opo, Opo. Raptor. Okay. Okay, let's practice this rotation. True strike. That's coral. O. R. C. O. R. C. Nice. O. R. Oh, haha, <laughs> R, this is nice, C, O, R, O, R, C, K, I got it, O, R, C, O, R, Haunt. That's interesting how that works. Yeah, it takes away the ability to use the ability if you don't use the ability on the first time. Like that.
I mean, we're making experience pretty quick over here. But we should probably get moving towards where the actual objective is. We got Pugilist and took it to 7. We're doing good. We're making progress. Stuff is going down. We gotta go hit these trial stones. Like so. Boot shine. Alright. And then we gotta claim it for our own. King of the Hill. Of RC. Boot shine combo. King of the Hill. Of RC. That's R. This is C. Coral. Opa Opa. He's there. Oh. Uh, let's get this one done really quick. C. Oh, that's R. This is C. Now I can do O. O. R. O. R. Uh, these are giving some uh, a little bit more XP probably. These are higher level, but they're still going down pretty quick. Ah. Ooh. Launch right into him. Wait, wait, there. Boom. Grinding. Putting in work. <laughs> Getting paid. Shine combo on one more trial stone. Where? Ha! There it is. Nice. That's good stuff. Look at that. Okay, report to Hammond at the Pugilist Guild, so... Back to Uma. Yes, sir. And that's a job well done. <laughs> I wonder what... Higher level huge list looks like. I know I've got a couple of pretty nice things waiting. Plundered Knuckles. Pugilist or Monk. Level 15. Okay. We're halfway there. I'm not even really sure where I got those, but they're pretty nice. Or a little item, I guess. I don't even know what a really nice item looks like. Those are the nicest I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> so you've given the Earth sprites what for? Well done, Agamemnon. By smiting stone and earth, you forged unyielding weapons of your fists. You're a nigh endless fountain of vigor, Agamus. I just like myself in my younger days. <laughs> <coughs> this must be the promising recruit you've been telling me about. Well, of course he's promising. He's training under Hamoon Holy Fist. <laughs> That's our master, Hamoon. Igamus, I don't believe I've introduced my assistant yet. 
This is Choo Choo Two. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. As introduced, I serve as Master Hammond's right hand, though there is still much and more I have yet to learn. Together, let us strive to for mastery of our art. Choo Choo Two joined the guild. Is it Choo Choo Do? Chuchido joined the guild soon after I was made its master. She's my very Chuchudo. <laughs> Chuchudo joined the guild soon after I was made its master. She's my very first student. As a matter of fact, well, there was one other to be sure, but let's not dwell on the past, master. It was Agamus's bright future we were discussing. Which reminds me, did you collect my gill from him? My gear is rather worn down and I do need the money for repairs. <laughs> yes, uh, I give us his future with us as bright indeed. If he keeps up his efforts, he may well become the next holy fist. Train hard, young one, and grow strong. When the time's ripe, I'll have another little lesson for you. Nice. 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 Okay. We want that. Yes, we do. Alright. Yes. Yes. That pink. It's a pink shirt. Oh. Man. <sighs> it had to be a pink shirt, yeah. It's rough, yo. Oh well. Tough guys wear pink. Right? That's what they say, right? I don't say that. I mean, I, I did just say that, but I don't say that. That's the kind of thing I say. It's the thing that's been said around me. But, you know. The one that's... Yeah, that's still the best one. And... Still the best one. Yeah. Alright, so this is... Pugilist class fully set and good to go. Let's save it. Booyah! Look at that. Now, it's time to do some work. Work where, you say? Ah, now that's that's truly a question, isn't it? Not him. He's just going to try and make me gamble. I don't want to gamble. We're level 14, so I mean, let's just set out. You know, what what do we have to lose? Let's go to New Gridania and get some new... Oh, I am that broke that I cannot teleport to New Gridania. How much money do I have? I've got... Is that 200 points? 200 P? 200 Gil? Really? Oh man. Well, let's go out the gate. We'll do it the old fashioned way. We'll just start killing stuff. We'll go get as close as we can to a level 14 area. Maybe, maybe 12. I don't want to do stuff lower than 12. <sighs> Feels like it'll take too long. Probably not efficient. Yeah, here we go. Running is free! Level one, level two, 
ramps up fast, don't worry. Level 3. Love my puppy dog. I love that there's live players running around every once in a while, you know. Makes you feel like you're more part of something. It feels more alive. Level 7. Let's warm up on this guy, right? <laughs> uh, oh yeah. It's on. Done. Done and over with. Dustin Mongrel, that's a good target. is the wrong fight, Mongrel. I'm built to take the damage. Noise. <coughs> Alright, where are we going? What's the plan here? Silver Bazaar is that way. I just wanted to get to an area of level 12 or so. So let's head down. Could jump, but it's kind of haphazard. What about from here? Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Level 9 Earth Sprite. Level, level 9 Sand Toad. I'm just staring at him. He's a beautiful creature. Oh my god, look at him. He's the best. Why would anybody ever want to hurt that?
Everything's level 9 here. I really like to go in a direction where they start leveling up. And I don't want to fight sand toads. That's another thing. Earth sprites I don't mind so much, but like level 9? Come on. Alright. This is what I can find so far. We'll find that. Yeah, buddy. Let's eat some food, yeah? Let's eat some flat bread. XP bonus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Wait a minute. Can I just climb down? Okay. But there was a level 10 before, so maybe I need to climb back up. What do we got up here? Level 6. Aw, oh, come on, man. Rusty Coblins, too. Oh, buddy. Where the deer and the antelope roam And seldom is her a discouraging word And the sky is not cloudy all day Home, oh, home on the range Alright, I'm done, I'm sorry I'm not sorry, I should stop saying I'm sorry all the time I'm not sorry for that, that's not a thing I should be sorry for it's my live stream, right? Hey, let's go ride the boat. That's right, we're going on an adventure. <clears throat> Level 13, perfect. This is where we want to be. Okay. Not all to a great start. Oh, booyah.
Donezo. Alright. This guy will be level 15 for me. Let's get behind him. Nice. grind right now and it's going well level 15 yo keep on rolling Yeah. Oh yeah.
The odds are not stacked in my favor right now, that's for sure. Is this Arbor Buzzard about to get involved? You know it. <laughs> Oh, and here's a smallmouth Orbon just spawning in. No biggie. We're good. Why they call him a tank? You don't have the ability to just sit there and do this. <laughs> We're just in a bad spot. It's, and in, in that, I mean, it's a, actually a kind of a good spot because it's, it's pushing me. I'm really having to stay on top of things. But I feel like things can tip against me very quickly if I'm not careful. The longer I sit here and deal with it, ah the more I can take it, and the less damage they can do to me. Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to target you, woman. Whoa. You. 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 How do you target another player? There. Emote. Man, that felt like it took way too much effort. Alright. Back to the training. I didn't think that would get them involved. It does keep things interesting. That whirlwind attack, though. It's a tool for keeping aggro or enmity, as it's called in this game.
wise. Oh, I got involved and maybe I got a little experience bonus for that, I don't know. Level 14. <sighs> Train hard, get strong. <sighs> Wonder if I'll ever have friends again. I kind of do have friends, but they don't really talk to me, you know?
I've been talking and muted the whole time. I was talking about how this fight, this whole fight has its own, like, backstory. And I read the whole backstory. And, but it does look like we are winning. It's taking some time. But we should probably kill the smaller guys first. Before worrying about the bigger guy. Because we're in the right level range, I think... I think... I think we'll probably survive this. We might need to be careful. Like, we might need to drag him. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in a safer area. We can focus on our business. I think this is meant to be fought with multiple people. It would go down a heck of a lot faster. This is how you get stronger, though. Got him! Boom. Look at that. There's 16. Come and gone. Okay. Can we? No, we don't want to teleport out. We could, but it's, it's quite expensive. I'm realizing that because I'm broke, and it's not letting me teleport places sometimes. Oh.
gotta have a different kind of patience with the online Final Fantasy games I've found. I mean, this is exactly how it was when I was watching my buddy Corey and his dad Harry, or Bray, rather, and his uncle Sean. They would all play this game. And he came over along with Christian one summer and my dad bought this game not this game my dad bought Final Fantasy 11 for the computer and the Xbox so that we could all play it and all three of us played Final Fantasy 11 that summer that was an amazing time for me my dad was such an amazing dad he did an awesome job I've made a lot of mistakes, but I'm always trying to do better. And I hope that I make him proud in the end, you know? At the end of the day, I love him no matter what, and I think that he would say the same. on it with full health. I didn't think I could do that. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's a workout. that I don't even have to level sync. You imagine that XP bonus is gonna be pretty nice. Oh yeah. I think we can do this faster. There's gotta be more. Oh, nope, nope, there's one over here. Okay. Let's kite the first one over. Engage him in combat too, right? Now we got them both. Zippy zap. Booyah, right? Now I can manage both of them. Is there any more? No, but I can pull them sort of over this way, and we can engage outside of the range of the other guys, so I don't have to worry about dragging them into this. Before you know it, the field is clear, and I'm regaining my health naturally. Woohoo! We're halfway through 16 almost. Look at that. I am unafraid. 
I accept the challenges that you lie before me. Lay before me, whatever correct English would be. Got him. Almost got him. Got him. Chase me to town. Feel like we could be doing a better job getting XP. If we're utilizing the quest systems with like the leather meats and whatnot. I also think there is a quest line over here, just like an independent quest line that I haven't done. So let's see what we can see. Oh, I've got mail, that's right. <laughs> What's this? Greetings, tall one. <laughs> I am a delivery moogle, Kupo. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid... Oh, a notification popped up. And avoid contact with outsiders. Why ever would they agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed. If I had my way, I'd be curled up under the canopy of a nice oak, dreaming about some beautiful mooglet with a rainbow-colored pom-pom. Kupo? But no! The moon had to go and drop from the sky, causing all of that terrible commotion. Aetherites were shattered and Link Pearls rendered useless. For moons, the poor wingless people of Aortia had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one really approved of. Kubo? That is, until the little horned ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first, we were wary of showing ourselves, worried that one of you might catch skin us catch and skin us like you do every other forest furry but once we saw how much we were appreciated we knew we'd found our new calling and I personally promised to try and not read any along the way Kupo look what we have here a new letter has arrived just for you Kupo thank you for playing Final Fantasy 14 Enclosed is a wind-up panel minion, a miniature rendition of someone who is already quite small to begin with, and the stylish Menthina's earring. Okay. Um, main attribute plus 78, plus 80 vitality, plus 79 secondary attribute, plus 79 determination. Whoa! It's a pretty hefty stat. Uh, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. The Moogle Delivery Service can be accessed by speaking with one of the many delivery Moogles stationed throughout Aorzia. Or by clicking on a Moogle letterbox, the service can be used to send messages, items, and gill to anyone on your friends list. Pressing the new button located in the upper right hand corner of the Moogle delivery service window will open the letter editor. In addition to composing your message, this interface can be used to specify a recipient as well as attach gill and items. Coolio! 
Well, thanks, buddy. I think I'm probably gonna equip that if it'll let me. Oh my god, it'll let me. That's such a wildly high stat. Vitality plus 80. Secondary attribute. Main attribute. What is that even? What is that symbol? It looks like a Z. Plus 78, plus 79. I don't even know what that is. It's so mysterious. Let's equip it. And suddenly, he became a thousand times more badass. <laughs> Without knowing why. Alright. And then I got a new minion. So where's the minion at? I got those two, but at first they're an item, right? Bingo. Wind up Palom. Use. Okay. Oh, so now she's there in the menu. There she is. Okay. I don't. I don't understand. What? <laughs> what is, is it just a tiny little. <laughs> A, a, a tiny little lady, like, she's, she's just like, Hi! I'm here to go on an adventure with you! And I was like, what? Who are you? I didn't pay for you. Wind up, pal. Are you a robot? What's the story here? Why have they given this to me? <laughs> no, no. I don't like I don't think I like this. Let me see my co world kit. Oh buddy. That's a winner. That's a winner for sure. Look at that bell. What a good boy. Oh, what a happy boy. He's so healthy. Look how he was hopping. Look at the way that tail's going. He's just happy to be alive. He's just vibing. Live in the dream, you know. Having a good day. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. This is why we look right here. Yeah, that's it's it, it clashes so bad, but I mean we're equipping for stats right now. We're not worried about what it looks like, and that's just something that you do. You shoulder that. And eventually I'll learn glamours, but I'm not quite there yet. Well, that's quite interesting. Let's go ahead and go to the gear set list. Let's add a new one. Boom. Delete the old one. Boom. And then we decide what we want to do today. I think I want to just for fun. 
I want to advance pugilist because I want to see what these other thingies look like. Wait a minute, what do we got here? Ooh, these, we already got some new ones. All right, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about um, these guys, these plundered knuckles. <sighs> Level 15. We're gonna need seven more levels for this. I think we can make it happen. <gasps> Tarafu! What do you have for me, sir? Following a trying sea voyage, Tarafu could use an adventurer, a mop, and a bath in that order. Well, this is pretty kettle of this is a pretty kettle of fish. You'd think Rogadin would be too damn big to get seasick. Oh, adventurer. Yes, you there. Looking for work, perchance? Name's Tadafu. I'm a merchant just back from Limsa Lominsa, and I'm in a spot of trouble. I heard this big lug to make the deliveries, but what I got instead are a couple of chum pills badly in need of emptying. Can't let that stop me, though. Nanalai, the fisher out in Crescent Cove, needs what I've got, and though this up chucking good for nothing will be up and about by tomorrow nanalai isn't like to stand the weight deliver the two sacks to nanalai okay right. okay yeah we can do that what does swergeim have for us Color your world. Oh, yes. This is exactly what we needed. Yes. Okay. If I had a glamour. Wishes to impart to you her knowledge of glamours. Yes, please. Oh, dear, dear, dear. This will never do. Ah, thank you so much. My sense of aesthetics simply won't allow it. How can you go out dressed like that? My dear, if only you'd spare a thought for style and coordination. I hope your garb holds up during a scuffle, because there's little else going for it. That's it. I've made up my mind. From this day forth, I'll take it upon myself to save you from any more fashion disasters. Let me see. So much that needs to be addressed. Where to even begin? Be a dear and get me a drink. I'm feeling rather parched, and this is a matter best discussed over a glass of something cold. Yeah, but me first. Ugh. I want something to drink too, so I'm gonna go to my fridge here. Boom. I'm gonna grab not one, but two Dr. Peppers. bit of a, an ab workout getting in and out of this chair sits down on the floor <sighs> but it's what I'm used to let me see all oh, right now you want to drink I got my dr. pepper so just got to oh man that thing is huge <laughs> just got to the pissed piece <laughs> and asked Falkland just go to the pissed piece and ask Falkland. I'll have some blood orange juice and tell her to make sure there's no pulp in it. Now off you go. Okay. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, this is over here. Did this on the other one. Blood orange juice. No, no, she said, she said blood orange juice, so let's go over here. Let's just 
just what you oh swear guy I'm saying you did she that woman I've never known anyone so lazy would it kill her to come and get it herself here you are you shouldn't let her push you around you know give her an ilm and she'll take a mom <laughs> But I won't have to look like a bleeding idiot all the time. Yes. Oh, you there. Yes, you, the decisively unfashionable adventurer. <clears throat> well, accurate. Gods be good. Never in my life have I seen such unapologetic focus on function at extreme cost to form. The mere sight of you, fair makes my eyes bleed. Oh wow, as a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in that sorry state. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged through the use of color. I will teach you how to go about dyeing your outfit, but first I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious thirst and I won't be able to talk for any length of time. Be a dare and buy me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates, would you? Once I have moistened my throat, we shall see to the business of remedying your appearance. Yep, now we got it. No, we want to... Purchase items, orange juice, one, thank you. Oh, what? Well, that's just fine. You know why? Because <laughs> my gladiator is the right level. Boom. Color your world. Pray tell, have you brought my orange juice? Lest you have forgotten, the merchant who sells it can be found just inside the northern gates. I got it for you. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. Oh, I've got 11 of these for some reason. There you go. <laughs> Gulp. Phew. That's a relief. Wait. That was the fresh one, right? Not one of the 10 that I had carrying that I didn't know about. <laughs> Finally, I can teach you how to bring color into your life. Listen well. There are handy items called colorants, which allow folk to dye their outfits a veritable rainbow of colors. These colorants are so simple to use, adventurers have no excuse to be fashion unconscious. Lest you worry that dyeing will affect your garments' precious properties, you may rest assured it will not. The practicality you adventurers love so much will not suffer for the change in appearance, a change for the better. It should also gladden you to know that garments can be dyed repeatedly, so there is no fear of getting locked into one color. The garish pink that seemed like such a wonderful idea after a dozen glasses of red can be done. Can be undone. And that is all you need to know about dyeing gear. <clears throat> now. What are you waiting for? Get out there and bring some color into your life. Okay. Cool. Dying. Aw. Oh. Four more pages. Let's <coughs> let's do this. You are now able to dye items. To dye a piece of gear, you must first have the proper colorant. Colorant can be crafted or purchased in stores. Once you have the proper color in dyeing an item, it's as easy as selecting the dye icon from the actions and traits interface. There is no limit to how many times an item can be dyed. Dye can also be removed by using an item called Terebinth. Wow, I am not going to remember that. It should be noted, however, that certain items require the completion of quests before they can be dyed. If you wish to paint a housing fixture or furnishing, you can do so by selecting Furnishing Color by accessing Housing within the Social Menu. Alternatively, Furnishings can also be painted when selected from the Inventory.
Here's your blood orange juice, lady. Oh, delicious! Nothing better on a hot day. Some say I have expensive tastes, but life's too short to settle for second best. Of course, this extends to my choice of wardrobe, too. Now that I'm feeling refreshed, shall we get started? <laughs> right, because you haven't been talking already, but you go ahead. Do you know, dear, you'd look a lot less drab if you knew how to apply glamours. What's a glamour, you ask? Well, they use a glamour prism as a catalyst to project the image of one item onto another. It's just an illusion, mind, but very convincing. This means the original object stays essentially the same. It just takes on a new appearance, that's all. Remember, if you fancy a change, you don't have to stick with the same glamour. Just apply another one on top, or use a glamour dispeller to return the object to normal. Why sacrifice style for such humdrum trifles as durability or protection from bodily harm? Limitless possibilities for self-expression are just a couple of glamours away. Go ahead, give it a try, and do it, and do make it quick, dear, for my sake. I'm finding your uninspired attire more and more offensive with each passing moment. <clears throat> Wow. <sighs> Thanks, lady. I was concerned that we hadn't found that yet. I was thinking about that earlier, so that's good. Oh, man, here we go. Glamours allow you to alter the appearance of equipment through the use of illusory magics. To change the appearance of an item, highlight it and select cast glamour from the subcommands. I can, I can hear the jets going overhead. Casting glamours requires catalysts known as glamour prisms. Please note that for the illusion to take effect, the projected gear must be compatible with the glamoured gear's level. Class, race, and gender. Glamoured items cannot be sold or traded. Furthermore, the item lending its likeness will become bound to you. With these conditions in mind, by using glamours, you can always look and perform your best. Is your inventory cluttered with gear you only wear on special occasions? Are glamour prisms causing you headaches? Glamour dressers have been added to in rooms across the realm to make applying and managing glamour gear simpler and more intuitive. Start by adding gear to any glamour dresser where it is instantly transformed into glamour. Into a glamour. Next. Use glamour plates to create full sets of glamour attire, which can be applied to your character all at once. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not absorb any of that. That's not true. I absorbed a lot of it, but not, not nearly as much as I probably should have. Uh, okay, so first and foremost let's go to character right okay let's cast a glamour on this helmet because it sucks I do not like this helmet let's make it a leather eye patch cast okay see that's a huge improvement already we might not even need to waste another glamour honestly this this is workable that helmet was really killing it. <sighs> well, wait a minute. Because she probably just gave me a bunch of dyes, too. Yeah, ice blue, bone white, and rose pink. So... Let's try this bone white. The boots. Uh, I, 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 no. 
gauntlets. No. The shirts. Yes, the shirt. The shirt. It looks great on the shirt. Look at that. Oh, man. My character is looking better already. I love it. And I actually kind of like these gloves, so I'm not going to glamour them. And we got that whole thing set up. We're, we're good to go. Gladiator 16. On to move. Oh, wait. There's something down there. Deliver two sacks to... Yeah. This... We're just gonna run it. No, 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 sir, I don't believe I am involved. No, 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 sir, not with that guy, I'm not. Not again. Took him down once, that's enough. Not a lie. You mean me? Ah, you got my delivery. You got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. This sack's got some hep to it. It sure does. And it should, too, being full of soil. What will I do with this soil? Put it on the ground. That's what the littler bag you gave me is filled with seeds. It's time for some farming. Calamity's done made the fish stay away from these waters. So if we don't farm, we don't eat. But there I go running my but here there yep. But there I go running my mouth and I near and near forgetting the business. Got the gill for Tatafu right here. Tell her I'm much obliged. Dr. Pepper, you're the one. You make gaming so much fun. Dr. Pepper, you're the only one for me, except when I'm drinking Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, oh. <sighs> if you like, I can take you to the Silver Bazaar for 40 gil paid up front. Hmm. It's old dog. That's a good price to get the old, uh, it's cheaper than a teleport. Is that what we want? No. Where are we going? Where is Tata? Locked for level 17 for real, but is this the yeah, it's the right area? We just gotta go up. Just grind. 
lined up to 17 really quick and then run over there. It seems like the logical thing to do. Look at that, we're getting closer and closer. Okay. Some flatbread. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes.
I miss her. I hope she's happy. Even though I know she's moved on. There's no chance that she'll... Um, I guess I couldn't say there's no chance she'll ever be mine because I can't see the future, but... There's no chance she'll be mine anytime soon. And that's rough, man. So I'm not just like trying to have a casual girlfriend. I'm trying to have a life partner and I have committed to her. <sighs> serious progress on a bunch of different jobs so let's go ahead let's do a quick inventory let's see if we can huh huh
No. No, don't tell me this is what the best gear looks like. Because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh. Why? Square Enix, why are you like this? <laughs> okay. Um... What can we do <sighs> to repair this? That's glamour. Alright. I don't have a whole lot of options here, do I? It's a cool vest. Now let's fix those pants. like jeans that's great oh thank you something normal I gotta save it because I'll forget to save it and then we'll switch and then I'll have all this stuff set Got a bit of time, you know. Oh yeah. Get on.
Oh yeah. Not as my rogue. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Did you think I was going to sign off? We got some money to make. <sighs> Getting right down to business. Oh no, no, no. Oh, 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 no, 
No. It's nobody's fault but my own. Nobody's fault but my own. Oh yeah. Okay. Finally. Made it all the way across. Let's just go with feel. I, I could check the map. We could just take it one step at a time. There's no need to rush. The eternal flame on the eastern point of Mount Kaf has been kept burning since the mountains formed. Stoked for centuries, 
Athra's glow guides the way for sailors through darkness of night and guides all through darkness of spirit. I feel pretty dark in spirit right now. May as well go right back where we were just a second ago and get all our health back. Yep. Oh no! Okay.
Okay, so I can shoot it. Does it regrow? Ah, it regrows like instantly. Wow. Why? <sighs> I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Take it easy and explore. Right. Gotta be quick in Prince of Persia. Okay. Really hoping to hold on to that bonus for longer. Hey, they're worth a good amount of money there. Oh, 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 wow. Of course, because there's nobody here in the in the live stream with me. I'm all alone. Oh, we're here. Yes, we are. Let's do an amulet rework. Alright. Blade Dancer plus two. Land a sixth attack at the end of the extended combo. Press X right when the fifth attack hits the enemy. Yes. Greatly increase melee attack power while in full health. No. Defeated enemies trigger a small explosion after death. It deals a slight amount of damage. That'll make things a little interesting. Collect time crystals from a distance. No. Greatly reduce incoming poison effect damage. Slightly increase after build up after each attack. Slightly increase all melee attack while in the air. One time protection from a killing blow by restoring a small amount of health. Okay, I need three for that. I'll use one. Earlier I had this. Convert a small amount of damage taken into half or build up. I don't really want that. Eh. It was worth checking into. Wish me luck. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on me. I know the fight I have to fight. I know what's coming. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Don't leave so soon. <sighs> I'm always in need of new servants. I love how her lips don't move with her voice. That's freaky. Kiana. The fight is on. Oh, yes. Oh. Can I parry any of that? I can parry that. I can't parry that. You will serve. Parried. Parried. Yeah, that hits me hard. I did parry that though. It's over. It's over. It's over. You will serve me. Ah. Will, sir. 
Alright. We're learning ways not to do it. I can't parry that. I want to, but I don't think I can, nor that. Unblockable, that red glare means unblockable. Wanted to restart. <laughs> Take every opportunity. You will serve me. I knew you could parry that. quit this fight a few times. Does she just whoops my ass over and over again? It starts feeling kind of redundant doing it, you know? I want to play something else. Would you like to play some Rocket League? Yes? Yes?
Did you see that? I was so close. I almost saved it. It was so slick. It would have been such a slick save. Thank you for joining me here in the doctor's office. My name is the doctor and I'm signing off. We'll finish this match. GG's everybody, have a good night.